Happy Thursday, Rutgers. I'm Laura Palacio. And I'm Jane Chaco. We've got an awesome show lined up for you. It is Thursday, October 19th, 2017. Weather watcher Rohan Jane will give you the regional and big picture forecast for the day. Dan King is going to paint the town scarlet at the Night's Watch Safety Academy. And Ashley Cornish will teach us about how hurricanes are formed. Let's start the show. You're watching Wake Up Rutgers on RUTV. Hello and welcome, Rutgers. It's great to be here on this chilly Thursday morning. We are here to wake you up every Thursday morning this semester with all the exciting news, events, and weather. So a lot of exciting stuff happening this weekend because it's homecoming weekend. I know. How exciting. I can feel all the school spirit yeah. in the air. <laughs> we have uh, the bed races tonight, the bonfire tomorrow night, and the game on Saturday. I know. So the bed races. Yeah, that's really exciting. It's uh, tonight. And have you ever been to the bed races? I actually have never been. I walked past it, and mm -hmm. it just looked like so much fun. It was just a giant crowd, and everybody was cheering for everybody on the beds, but I was just going home. So <laughs> I went my freshman year, and it was a lot of fun. Um, two years ago, RUTV had their own, uh, had their own uh, group there, and they were all dressed up. And unfortunately, we couldn't do it this year. But if we had to do a theme, what would you say we should be? I would say we could either dress up as like all weathermen or mm. and women, or maybe like some cool TV characters. Oh, that would be a lot of fun. Another uh, fun thing going on is the bonfire, which is tomorrow, uh, 7 to 10 p.m. at the Livingston Quads. Sounds like fun and cozy. I love bonfires. Yeah, and there's also free barbecue, so that's always a fun thing. Free food. And music. Students love it there. Yeah, free music too. And just make sure to bring your Rutgers ID to show that you're a Rutgers student. And some marshmallows to roast them, duh. <laughs> yeah, bonfires are always so much fun. I used to do so many in high school. Really? Yeah, it was like a great way to either start off the year or end the year right before summer starts. And it's kind of, yeah, it's just kind of like a signal to we're ready to jump into this or something ending. So bonfires are a lot of fun and it's also just you know, so nice to just cozy on up to the fire and uh, yeah feel the energy from the fire <laughs> that's true feel the heat and like eat some marshmallows and it's just like a good time yeah you know what also is a good time oh yeah what football games the football game right the football game on saturday starting at 12 Rutgers is playing purdue yes i'm going i'm so excited i can't wait and i'm gonna get myself some awesome Rutgers apparel to just be in the spirit. Yeah, you can never have too many, uh, too much Rutgers apparel. Yep. I have lots of t-shirts and uh, it's, I also want the hat. The hat's also so cute. I know. I love the white one with the red R. Mm, yeah. So yeah, so I'm definitely going to go stop at the bookstore, pick up myself some awesome game day apparel. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I also, we, we were talking before the show and we learned that you can take meal swipes. They take meal swipes at the games, right? Oh, yes. I am excited because I do have a, a meal plan and I'm starting to realize I'm not using up all of it. So I'm definitely going to take the advantage and like use up two while I'm there. Yeah, get some cheese fries, maybe a hot dog. Sounds very Ooh. yummy. Sounds... Chicken tenders. Yeah, chicken tenders, right? <laughs> the chicken tender game. <laughs> and uh, it's just all that football food, that football spirit, the school spirit. And Rutgers is such a big school, right? But I think at the football games, you really get a sense of community and that Rutgers pride. So if you got a ticket, then it's going to be so much fun this Saturday. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Homecoming is always such a fun week. Uh, but don't go anywhere, Rutgers. We still have lots of show left to go. But before we go, let's see how much you know. When does pre-registration for the spring 2018 semester begin? We'll find out the answer right after this break. As a commuter, it's hard to make connections outside of class. Tell me about it. Did you know that there's a place for commuters to meet up between classes? Hmm, no I didn't. 
That's right. The Rutgers Commuter Student Organization's primary goal is to serve commuter needs and interests while building a bigger commuter community on campus. Located in the Bush Student Center, the RCSA Commuter Lounge has many appliances that help make commuter lives easier, such as a microwave, a refrigerator, computers, and even a TV. The RCSA also holds events. It's the perfect place to relax, do homework, and make some friends. Don't have classes on Bush? Don't worry, there is a new commuter lounge in the Douglas Student Center as well. The commuter lounges are open every Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. For more information, visit rcsa.rutgers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. Hopefully your morning is going well and you're waking up. Before the break, we asked, when does pre-registration for the spring 2018 semester begin? Now it's time to find out the answer. Students with 110 credits or more can register Sunday, October 29th, and registration continues through Tuesday, November 14th. Check online the day you're supposed to register and make sure to set an alarm for yourself so you don't forget. That is unbelievable that spring is coming up like right around the corner. I know, it's insane. And the semester is almost halfway over. Yeah, we're at week seven right now. And it's time to choose those classes. Exactly. And if you're having a little bit of trouble trying to choose them or you just don't know what to do, you should go to one of the advising centers for whatever your major is or whatever you're planning to do because all of them, a lot of them have walk-in hours, which is super convenient and yeah. a great way to talk to someone who knows about what classes you're going to need to be on your pathway to success. Yeah, and to you know graduate on time yeah. as well. Um, and if you can't make any of the walking hours, um, I'm sure you can just make an appointment with one of them. Or there's also the degree navigator online that yeah. lets you know like what you're missing in order to graduate. And there's also a course schedule planner, which is a great way to uh, plan your classes. And you can register right from that site into when registration opens. So. It's a great way to do that. So besides keeping up on your classes and spring registration, another thing you should keep on is weather with Rohan, Rain, Jane. Jane. Good morning, Rutgers. I hope you're making most of this chilly morning. I am weather watcher Rohan Jane. Let's get right into it. So we had a morning low of 43 degrees with the average of 65 degrees and low of 42 degrees. Our morning low today is right around average as you can see. The record and the sunrise and sunset are at the bottom of your screen. So this is a radar for New Jersey right now. As you can see, there's a few clouds coming through, but that should clear as the day continues, leaving for clear skies from the afternoon onwards. This is a radar for the U.S. As you can see, not much going on for the majority of the U.S. In Washington, there's a, there's a storm system that will impact us later on next week, uh, but we'll keep you updated on that. Now looking at today, we have a high of 74 degrees, pretty warm for this time of the year, sunny skies and southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then as you take a look at the day planner, we have 56 degrees at 10, so the warm up significantly, 74 degrees at 2 p.m. and 69 degrees at 6 p.m. And tonight for the um, bonfire, we have 58 degrees, so it'll be pretty nice. So regional high temperatures, 73 degrees in Newark, 72 in Camden, so it's going to be fairly consistent for New Jersey. But as you leave New Jersey, we'll have 69 in Oneonta and 74 in Baltimore. Our low for tonight is 54 degrees. We have clear skies and southwest winds at 3 miles an hour. And as you look at the lows for the greater northeast, we have 59 degrees in Baltimore, uh, 48 in State College, 43 in Oneonta. And then in New Jersey, we'll have 54 everywhere. It, the wind chill won't play that much of a factor, so just bring a sweater with you for the bonfire tonight. Friday, we have a high of 75 degrees, very similar today, sunny skies. N this time, instead of southwest, is northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then Friday, uh, Friday night, for the bed races, we have a low of 47 degrees, much cooler than today. Northwest winds at 6 miles an hour, so I suggest bringing a jacket with you for that one. The wind will also play a bit of a factor. And back to you guys. So we had a switch. The bonfire is actually tomorrow night and bed races are tonight. So make sure you bring a sweater uh, to bed races because it'll be a little bit chilly, but school spirit should warm you up. Yeah. 
And uh, also don't forget to prepare for the rest of the day. I think the sun saves me when um, it's 1 p.m. and I forgot my jacket in the car. Absolutely. But the sun is out, so I'm still staying warm, and I just hate the cold, so. Really? Yeah, I absolutely hate it. I think I'm going to move to Florida after graduation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have a lot more show left, so we'll see you right after this break. Bullying isn't just in person. Now, bullying can be over text messages, phone calls, or social media. And it can happen to anyone. Students who believe to be victims of verbal assault, intimidation, bullying, harassment, or defamation should report any incident to the Dean of Students of their college, school, or campus. You can also file a complaint at the New Brunswick Office of Student Conduct at 115 College Avenue. If you or someone you know is being bullied, don't be afraid to speak up and reach out. For more information on bullying, visit compliance.records.edu slash bullying. This is Kate. Kate never utilized the many great resources Rutgers has to offer. Now, Kate doesn't have a job. Don't want to end up like Kate? Then you should go to University Career Services. University Career Services provides career-related counseling, resources, and programs to help individuals clarify academic and career goals, establish career plans, develop job search skills, and make successful career transitions. The mission is to build relationships with alumni, employers, and graduate schools to optimize internship, job, and career opportunities. From workshops and webinars to fairs and other recruiter visits, the staff within University Career Services works tirelessly to prepare students and connect them to the world of work. For more information, visit careers.rutgers.edu. Welcome back, Wreckers. Now it's time to take a peek at today's news and events. Everyone's brain works differently, and Rutgers scientist Ben Samuels is no stranger to this. Ben and his research team on Bush campus are hard at work to reduce the guesswork when it comes to doctors providing their patients with antidepressants by exploring the circuitry of the brain and figuring out how patients will respond to each type of antidepressant. They experiment with lab mice studying neural differences such as the presence or absence of specific serotonin receptors, cellular signaling, and those that respond positively or negatively to antidepressants. This research will reduce risks associated with the trial and error process that patients go through before finding the correct antidepressant for them. So this is, sounds like a really uh, great way to eliminate that guesswork. I didn't know that there was so much guesswork involved with prescribing antidepressants. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but it, it is really just a guess and check process. Um, everybody's brain works differently and it will react to uh, medicine differently. Um, so like certain people might have more of a certain neurotransmitter or like not enough and depending what prescription they, like, they give you will cause a reaction in that type of way. Um, and so this type of research is actually really important because it causes less harm to the patient, you know, because you don't know how these types of medication might cause, um, like what kind of harm it might cause to a patient or if it'll be beneficial. So it just, it saves patients time, money, and overall it could save their life. And you know a lot about this because you're majoring in biology and you're going into the medical field, right? I am, yeah. I'm actually really, really interested in it. Um, and today I actually have um, my gen psych uh, midterm and it's actually part of it is on the brain. So I'll, oh. uh, this is why I know it's a little bit. Wow, that's yeah. great. Are you ready for your test? I am and I'm actually excited. I really hope I do good. So fingers crossed. <laughs> well, in other medical news, Despite a disability, Rutgers alumnus is determined to continue his 30-year-long med career in practicing medicine. Gary Whitman lost the use of his arms and legs in a freak accident, which interfered with his ability to work at the Good Samaritan Medical Center of Brockton, Massachusetts, where he had been on staff since 1997. But the good doctor didn't give up so easily. After being turned down for several jobs due to his disability, he found work with Canadox, an organization that evaluates patients in states where medical marijuana is legal. 
He rose to the position of executive medical director and helped 16 to 22 men and women a day to find out whether or not the benefits of the treatment outweigh the risk of their illness. He also educates students of Harvard, Brown, and Yale about the use of medical cannabis and its benefits. So talk about taking the worst life gives you and turning it into something great. I know, and not just great for yourself, but also, you know, helping out others, like, at the same time. Yeah, he helps, like, uh, like I mentioned, he helps 16 to 22 men a day to figure out how to combat their illness with medical marijuana in states where it's legal. And I think that's just a great way and an alternative to... Um, getting better. Yeah, and uh, you know, modern medicine. That's true. And um, you said you were in the medical field or planning to. Mm -hmm. And so, would you say that helping others is a big, uh, big reason why you're going into that field? If if not if not a big reason, the biggest reason. Um, I am like I love science, but. I think the reason I'm so passionate is because I want to help people. You know, on the side, sometimes I do volunteer work. Um, last year I volunteered tutoring students. This year I'm volunteering in the, the children's hospital here at Robert Wood. So uh, helping out and, you know, just having that heart, that passion is the, the biggest reason to go into medicine for me. That's so great. That is awesome. I wish you, always wishing you the best of luck. And besides helping each other medically, you can also help each other professionally. Yes, so spend a Saturday networking away. The Douglas Career Conference is next Saturday, October 28th. It provides Douglas undergraduates the opportunity to learn about different career paths and network with women in those industries. Attendees can customize their experience depending on which panels they visit. This conference's keynote speaker is going to be award-winning journalist Heather Kabat. Bring your appetite since there will be free food and tons of free swag, including business cards. The event runs from 11 a.m. until about 6 p.m. and will be in the Douglas Student Center's Trays Hall. For more information, research Heather Kabat and the Douglas Career Conference on Facebook. So sounds like a great networking opportunity, right? Yes, and networking is so important. It is. People say it over and over, but really it's true. Like depending on who you know is how far you might get in your field. Yeah, I mean, it's it, the moment that you become a young adult, you should just start you know, making those connections because you never know where that person might be able to help you or well, you might be able to help that other person. Exactly, and it's just Rutgers um, alumni network is just so strong and there's Rutgers students everywhere, all over the country, in any field. So it's just always a good idea to be nice to people and to just maintain a strong relationship with them because as we said, it could help you out in your future. Yep. And it's all a part of growing up and adulting. And we all know that adulting can be hard, but the Office of Leadership and Experimental Learning can help. Their Backpack to Briefcase series offers all the keys to success. The next installment of this series will be next Tuesday, October 24th, and is called From Casual to Commitment, which is about relationships. Any lovebirds who are trying to take three trips around Passion Puddle should stop by the Livingston Studer Center Coffee House. The event runs from 7.30 to 9 p.m. on that day. For more information, search Backpack to Briefcase, From Casual to Commitment, on Facebook. So this sounds like a good way to um, take your relationship to the next level if you're ready for that. Because a lot of people do meet uh, the person that they want to marry or be with, a, be with for a long time. And they just don't know how to take it to the next level or how to even go about, you know, talking to that other person, saying, you know, I'm ready for more, but this might help them push them in the right direction. Yeah, just because you're at school and like you're ready for your career doesn't mean you're ready in other parts of your life to move to the next step. So it's just a great opportunity to get some advice and to just really listen to what these people have to say. Yeah, and um, I mean, any type of you know interpersonal relations might you know benefit you in the end emotionally. So why not? Yeah, sounds like a fun time. And uh, speaking of fun times, we're going to paint the town scarlet with Dan King. What's going on Rutgers? I'm Dan King and today I'm here at the yard with RUPD and Emergency Services to train at the Night's Watch Academy. Let's don our learning caps and head into the action.
Carrie, what inspired the creation of this event? Sure, so this is part of National Campus Safety Month. September is National Campus Safety Month, so this is our week on campus where we're really promoting um, messaging about safety, and it's under the umbrella of the Night's Watch and wanting students to understand what their responsibility is and helping us create a community of care. Well, the whole event is driven by giving uh, information to the students about personal safety, fire safety, and how they can keep themselves safe on and off campus. Uh, well, I hope that students definitely understand that the university has a lot of resources that are available to help them with a lot of the situations they might find themselves in. Uh, whenever there's a problem going on, it's just best to contact someone. They can get you to the right place where you can get the help that you need. I'm part of the police department. I'm an officer, community police officer, and we're going to be doing a self-defense course. So that's our participation here. We really want the students to be aware of their surroundings and to really be safe out on the streets. I think the uh, most important lesson is that if something's going on, just start with contacting somebody. The university is here to help you. We have lots of resources. We are available, but you have to take the first step and reach out to us. Is there anywhere students can go for more information about all this? Yes, there's staysafe.rutgers.edu has more information and then they can also go to our various social media channels to find information. So off-campus living and community partnerships, residence life, and of course RUPD. I think everyone had a real blast learning how to protect themselves on and off campus. I'm Dan King, RUTV. Well, thanks, Dan King. It's great to know that Rutgers is taking the initiative to make the campus just safer for students all around. Since, you know, New Brunswick was known to be slightly dangerous in the past, but now it's, you know, it's, it's fixing itself up. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of initiatives like the Night's Watch Academy. So don't go anywhere, Rutgers. We have a lot more show left, so we'll see you right after this. Hey Manny, have you heard about the Jewish Film Festival? Yeah, I have. It's actually really fun. Wow, can you tell me more about it? Sure, I'd love to. The Rutgers Jewish Film Festival is a great opportunity to learn about Jewish culture through film, as well as have fun with friends and meet new people. This year, the event is going to be held on October 29th through November 12th with screenings the Princeton Garden Theater and AMC Lowe's New Brunswick 18. There's so many great films this year. From The Cake Maker to Harmonia to Keep the Change, there's a film there for everyone. Student tickets are $6 per film. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Oh, I actually have class soon, but I'll see you there. Of course. Welcome back, Rutgers. Now we're going to check out how a hurricane is formed by weather watcher Ashley Cornish. With storms like Harvey and Irma impacting the lower parts of the U.S., hurricanes have been a hot topic in the news recently. Many are aware of the catastrophic damage they can bring, but very few are aware of how they are formed. Here we are at the Environmental and Natural Resources Building on Cook Campus, home of the Rutgers Meteorology Department. Let's head over to Dr. Decker, one of the directors of the Meteorology Department, to learn more about hurricanes such as Irma and Harvey. So a hurricane relies on the heat and moisture from a warm ocean surface and it turns that heat energy into kinetic energy or the motion of the winds going around the storm through rising air. So we have thunderstorm activity building over the warm ocean waters and over time that eventually spins up the hurricane. The late summer into the fall that's when our ocean temperatures are the warmest. So August, September, October of our warmest ocean waters, that's going to give us our greatest hurricane threat. We had really three storms back to back to back when we include not just Harvey and Irma, but also Jose, still spinning in the Atlantic. And all three of those storms made it not just to category three status, but they're up to category four, at least at one time or another during their life. And that's the first time we've ever had three Category 4 storms back to back to back in the Atlantic Ocean. So there are a few uh, tropical disturbances out in the Atlantic right now in addition to Jose. And those will pose a threat over the next few weeks as they move uh, closer to North America. And uh, the forecast is still for the season as a whole to be an active season, so even though as we head into October, climatologically things should start to quiet down, there's still certainly the possibility of more activity. Uh, 
I guess the number one rule is to follow any instructions from your local emergency managers. If you are right near the coast, you want to move inland so you're not affected by the storm surge. If you're near a uh, river valley, you want to move towards higher ground so any freshwater flooding doesn't affect you and you don't get swept away by that. If you're not in a very well-built built structure, like say you're in a mobile home, you'll want to move to a sturdier shelter to survive those strong winds. Thanks, Dr. Decker. I hope that information blew you guys away. Stay safe during hurricane season. I'm weather watcher Ashley Cornish. Catch you later, Rockers. Hey there, Rockers. So now that you guys know how a hurricane is formed, let's check out hurricanes around the world. So we have a quiet Atlantic Ocean, quiet Pacific Ocean, nothing forecasted in the next five days. Uh, but near Japan, sorry, we have Typhoon Land. Right now it's a Category 1 hurricane with 85 mile an hour winds, but before, as it reaches Japan, it'll be a Category 4 hurricane with 135 miles an hour, mile an hour winds. And as you can see over here, it's, it's projected to go right over Japan. It's going to cause a lot of damage. I'll, we'll definitely watch out for that. And you can watch our weather watcher forecast to stay updated. So uh, as I mentioned, oh, sorry. For the five-day forecast, we have 75 degrees on Friday and Saturday. Sunday, it's 74 degrees, and then Monday and Tuesday, as I step out, it's 75 degrees and 72 degrees. So it's around the same temperature uh, throughout the uh, upcoming five days. We have a chance of rain on Tuesday from that storm system on, storm system on, top, on top of Washington, which I previously mentioned. The lows will get higher as the day continues. They're 49, 47 on Friday, but Monday, 59 degrees. It'll be very warm then. To stay updated, you can go to channel 23.1 every 15 minutes to watch our Weather Watcher forecasts. You can follow us, follow us on Facebook at RU Weather Watcher, on Twitter at RUTV, WW, hashtag RU Weather, or you can follow us, follow Wake Up Rutgers at Wake Up Rutgers. Back to you guys. Well, thanks for all that great information on weather. Uh, hopefully, hurricane season ends soon. I know. It's caused a lot of devastation in the in the Caribbean area, P Puerto Rico and Mexico and Florida and uh, yeah, it's just so many places. So we're just hoping that it ends soon and that we can just all move into the next season. Uh, so well, we have a lot of stuff happening this weekend as we discussed with homecoming and it's just so much fun. Are you excited? I am so excited. I love feeling the school spirit in the air and the, the fall, the feeling of fall is just amazing. Yeah, and it's just like the middle of, um, it's like the middle of the semester and going to home, the homecoming game is a great way to just like distract yourself from the stress of midterms. Absolutely. I mean, I'm looking forward to it so much. Today are my last two midterms. Oh, great. So I have medical terminology in the morning right after this and then gen psych at night uh, and then so and then I'm just looking forward to game day yeah getting to de-stress on Friday yeah and, and then Saturday yeah and then Saturday then you can rest all day Sunday and it'll be uh, just like a great weekend to just take get away from all the school stress and just get into the uh, school spirit yep and then right jump back into it on Monday <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what sucks about the weekend right it's that it ends it doesn't go again <laughs> I wish there would be another day after Sunday just to like recoup from the weekend we should just make one we just make one up and put it right there between Sunday it. and Monday yeah let me just talk to our new governor um, when uh, elections happen and yes. just tell him Create a new day. Yeah, we can yeah. just call it Schmunday. Schmunday, Shmun between Sunday and Monday. You heard it here first, Rutgers, <laughs> on at RUTV. RUTV. <laughs> Wake up, Rutgers, we're, we're creating Schmunday, so <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a fun time. Yeah, Schmunday. <laughs> so are you going to be doing anything this weekend? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be working a wedding tomorrow in upstate New York, so I can't be attending any of the bed races tonight or the bonfire tomorrow. But I'm thinking maybe I'll get a ticket from a friend to maybe attend the game on sun, uh, Saturday. Yeah, come and join me. Yeah, it'll be because I just I haven't been to a game since uh, I think freshman year. So. That's so crazy. No, yeah, you're I missing know. out. Come on. You're coming. <laughs> I guess I'm going to the game. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm going to need to get more uh, Rutgers apparel. Yeah, we'll just go to the bookstore right on College Ave, and we'll go <laughs> shopping for that Rutgers apparel. We'll get those hats. Yeah, and you know what? There's also, like, Rutgers apparel at, like, Victoria's Secret and Target. So yes, yes, they can... do. I actually saw some at Kohl's the other day, and they were on sale. Yeah, and then so I'm going to bundle up in a T-shirt, a long sleeve, a sweatshirt, and a hoodie. hat, because I get cold so easily. <laughs> Maybe find some Rutgers socks. <laughs> yes, crazy Rutgers socks. I love it. Yeah. Well, Rutgers, that'll do it for today's episode. For more events happening this week, you can go to getinvolved.rutgers.edu or ruevents.rutgers.edu. Follow us on Facebook by searching RU Network or follow us on Twitter by searching at Wake Up Rutgers. We love hearing from you. 
Thanks again for tuning in and make sure to mark your calendars for the Career Conference. I'm Laura Palacio. Yeah, you're not going to miss, you don't want to miss it. And I'm Jane Chaco. Have a great day, Rutgers, and we'll see you on Monday.